Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now, I'm not going to lie, this is a very unusual one. Most of the time on this channel, I do um, gaming related content. So I've got the microphone, I've got the webcam. But I, today, I need to do some homework. And the homework is I need to create a stock motion. Now, I am not used to this, I'm not going to lie. I've done, I've attempted animation in the past on um, stuff like Critter and I've attempted, and a lot of these tasks that have came up, which I can put um, some photos down in this video if you really want me to. I like those, but this I have never ever attempted. So how this goes is going to be completely new. Just get that up. All right, the task: create a stop motion slash puppet character from odd bits around your house. The character must have at least one movable head, two legs with knees and ankles. The color blue must be used. Include the word Keith somewhere. Give the character a special feature. If it moves, that will be a bonus. Make the character do something with a stop motion studio app. Okay, not gonna lie, that sounds very, very random. Okay, so I've got an idea, basically. This is something... Hang on a minute. There we go. Now, this is something that I've basically had over the years. Every now and then I collect stuff I've got around things. I've got this. No idea when I got it or where I got it, but it exists. Now, what a lot of people are going to end up doing... Is showing what's down here basically either building it out of odd scraps around the house or doing um like paper mache or in this case wire and t wire and tin foil but the same principle applies now luckily i've already got a character built technically technically if i get the description up again it technically has one movable head the head can rotate and with force you can pull it up basically so my eyes this head can move Although, to be fair, it is very limited movement. Two legs with knees and ankles. Yeah, I reckon that counts. Like, we got... As in, look, we got the ankle joint, we got the knee joint, basically. I can make him go up and do a complete 180 like this. Almost like he's kicking a ball, but... I think I just broke his leg. <laughs> the colour blue must be used. Sir, I've done my homework. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to get a bit more creative than that. But still, the colour blue is going to have to be used. There we go. Okay, so I am recording this from the 13th of um, the 7th, so 13th of July, and I have got till the 19th of July to edit the video, create the character, and create the stock motion. What can go wrong? <laughs> At least to be fair, I've got a head start. I don't actually have to get the paper mache out and start creating a character. I've got a character here. I just need to adapt it. So yeah, let's see how it goes, shall we? It's taken a long while to load, I've noticed. But we're almost there. Come on. Finish. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, up. Well. Hang on, let me just plug my headset in for this. <laughs> watching this <laughs> wait so that's our okay so that's our frame so frame frame one in this case I need to go and settings what is it set to five frames per second okay I thought I was gonna have to deal with the 24 okay so basically me doing this allows me to access my webcam so attempt number one what you got for me eh I'm guessing I press this button and we start oops Due to lack of hard- What do you mean lack of hardware resources? This computer is fine. Camera. Yes. And... Ka-ching? Where's my picture? I think I just... Um... I think I just broke it. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's begin. Now, hopefully, as you can see, you've got the whole desk area. Bas the main colour theme is going to be blue. I'm just going to go wild with designs. But right now, I just need to get this to fit this guy. Yeah, I'm not sure. Though. I've had to improvise with the webcam to actually get this. Today, I'm literally just on the idea of um, character design and character construction, basically. I just, right now, really just wanted to tickle the boxes. 
I might go. I might go with theme, but I think I'm just going to go go and let my imagination kind of take off from this. Nothing is wherever I, I can't really draw on top of it with like very key areas. When let's say this marker pen, so wherever I draw, I'm gonna have to draw it on paper and stick it on. But the more I do that, the more movement I restrict. So I'm gonna have to be careful with what I actually show, basically. So for example, if I'm doing a bit of the leg, and the leg kind of bends in any way, shape, or form like that instance with the hip, then I'm, it's going to tear. So I'm going to have to pick my places and draw around it. There we go. Here's an example right now, basically. You can't see it that well, but if I hold it still. There we go. And it, There we go, an example for a face. If I do um, this similar idea, then it basically also means I can mix and match it. So for different elements, I might be able to change his facial expression. It's an idea on paper, basically. This is literally just a day one attempt to see how this goes out. For all I know, I could completely scrap this and go down a different route. So yeah, we're going to keep drawing and see how it goes. <laughs> there we go. Look at that face. <laughs> you know, I think we might call him Manuel. I, I am Manuel. <laughs> Anything used in this is a joke, of course. With no, with no means to offend anyone. Let's just put that out there now. I think it's funny. I think it looks good. And that is the only reason why I'm doing this. And I've probably just stained his face. <laughs> okay. At least I know that stains. What else can we do? Yeah, arms. Now let's get the blends and pencils out, shall we? Gotta remember the webcam's faced up there. If I don't do it at the right angle, then it'll be completely faced off camera. Which I am hoping isn't the case, because the desk is on camera. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> this is quite good actually. Okay, I'm something like this. But if we did do that, it would just cover his okay. Really, why you want to do it to two squares rather than the whole three? And if we're doing this, <laughs> I've done it. Come on, we got. We need some more light. There we go. All right. If we're, if we're going to be doing this, I need to see what legs I can leave up. I don't think I can do anything to the legs. And that's how I'd be able to walk forwards at the very least. If we're doing arm movement, then these shoulders need to stay separated. So I can't pin them. As long as the wrists are... Do I need the wrists? For... That was to change them into a position. The way I see it, the more I can't, I don't think I can do this paper effects on that many unless I do each individual cube. That could work. There we go. I've basically done a double blue over the front. You probably... Hang on, let me get my other light on. Triangle this as best as I can. It's probably not coming out well on the camera itself. Basically, due to the quality. There we go. Webcam's kind of back up to where it was. But what I've tried to do... If... Will it focus? There we go. If it tries to focus, it's blended from one side to the other. But I don't know if the camera's actually managed to pick it up alright. But at the very least, having it like this basically means I can still have almost full movement to the character. And get the blue aesthetic. So that's another box ticked off anyway. We need to write Keith. So I'm just tempted to go Keith in big letters on the front of it. Agent Keith. Nah. Alright, this is going to be trickier than I thought. 
This is a lot tricky. This is a very tricky design of a character. I'm not going to lie. So that's where it would go, and then I'd pin it together on the back. So you'd see one area, but Keith would mainly be covered. So is that just restricting movement for the sake of movement, or... God, I don't know. Hey, look at this. I've also got this for him. Oh, <laughs> that colour scheme. Keith's going to be setting some trends. Although I don't know, I should call him Manuel. But <laughs> we got to include Keith. So that's our Keith in big letters. And then do that, he's got kind of like a Robin Hood appearance. Okay, I don't know. Lone Watcher? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> hmm. I bring the leg up, that affects it. Okay. Another issue to deal with. When in doubt, use blue tack. Solve all your Osh problems. Duct tape? Nah. Blue tack's where it's at. This, uh, this works in my favour. Mm, better, a lot better. I need to trim these down. There we go. Look at that. Manuel is coming along. Now. <laughs> okay, now I need to draw two more for his other leg. It's going quite well so far. Currently, this is where we... Hang on. Currently, this is where we have got to. I know the camera quality is pretty poor at the moment, so I'm not going to lie. There we go. A little bit better. Not the, not the greatest, I'm not going to lie. Currently, this is where we're at at the moment. Manuel is in Pelagos. I don't know whether to make him Italian or well, Mexican or anything. I don't know. He is his own country. Manuel belongs to nobody. There we go, let's keep the politics out of this, shall we? <laughs> Perfect. But you can't... I can't actually see... Okay, I'll do that. You can't actually see the majority of... That probably looks better. I'm not going to like... Can I wear as a... Maybe a headdress, or... Slide it around his face. Mm, don't know. If I cut this down... If I cut this felt down a little bit... We have a drag over the top. That would go quite well. Right. Yeah, this is basically the back of him. This entire thing is held together by tape. As far as I know, as long as these um, areas down here, they're not moving. This should give him enough access for the arms and legs to however move. And there we go. One Keith, I mean one Manuel. There we go, just got to make sure the rest of it kind of stays on. So you know what we're going to do. There you go, let's give Keith dreads. <laughs> Look at this guy, he's brilliant. And, uh, saw it, I guess. Keith. There we go. <laughs> so what is Keith K-E-R-T-H The Keith <laughs> Okay I think our character's done now Time for a photo shoot There we go So the original idea of using that face Nice But the blue tag makes it better And I still got full arm movement So it can still go Oof. If I can actually get him to stand up and coordinate it correctly, that is. Yeah, perfect. Oh, yeah, inside of his arm. Hang on, you're not. Really 
the uh, and I've created and designed my stop motion character. There we go. It's very random, I know, but that was kind of the plan. Anyway, the next days to come, I need to. I've basically got the stop motion app now on my phone. I was a complete twat for trying to get it on the PC. Anywho, basically that is now sorted, and the next couple of days of me learning how to get the stop motion, me thinking of plots. So just playing around with the app and testing out to do this. And then the final couple of days is going to be me editing this string of documentary together. The link will be in the email, and for that, so it's the only way to access this video unless I make this public. But I doubt I'll do that. It'd be crazy to do that. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you till tomorrow. Hello, welcome back. This is day three. And yeah, basically, I am attempting to do stop motion for the first time. Now, the whole idea of this is I need to document and record everything that's going on. So yeah, I tried using it and noticed the camera angle was going in, out, in, out, in, out like this. And I don't have a tripod, which is the only one of the only ways to keep the camera still. So what I've ended up doing is using a guitar stand and have my phone on it so I can record the character on my desk and I'm using my lamp for lighting, as you can see. So yeah, this is day three. This is the 15th of July, 2020. And we'll see what we can get done today. There we go. So this is... Oh my god, my lighting's horrible. Yeah, this is me doing preparation one. I'm literally keeping the stand up through these encyclopedias I found on the bookshelf. And it's on max setting. Now, I'm not too sure whether I should keep the camera facing on me, but it shouldn't really be the point. Really, I want a camera facing this way. So is there any way I can... How far? Not far enough. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, this is such a weird setting, having it this far down on the ground. If I could have it there, maybe? Dramatic camera angles, let's go. Oliver, I am Manuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, there was a lot of, I don't know, random criteria. So I'm, I'm basically just ran with it and tried to make this as weird, as wonderful as possible. I have got the stop, I've got the stop motion app, uh, I've got the stop motion app going on right over here basically and which is on the guitar stand this is basically just a, tr a glorified tripod now first things first test number one i reckon <laughs> test number one i reckon if i can get some i reckon if i can get some footage if i can get enough footage and make him do some general actions i can then record or take photos of separate areas and use only vegas to zoom in zoom out change speeds that kind of idea so for this one, I just want the base footage and passable video, I guess. <laughs> that actually look quite nice, actually. So, let's try. Let's go from here. Da -da -da. <laughs> yeah, this... <laughs> so, yeah, this is basically how I'm sorting this out. This is not the best setup. As you can see, huge blue Yeti microphone. That's about as far as it reaches. Got my phone, got the stand, and I've got, the, and I've got Manuel there. As long with a little guide so I can actually learn how to use this thing. And a YouTube 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 and a <laughs> Alright. First step. Um, go on, Manuel. Nope. Okay. Time to get the blue tech out. I've blue tacked him down so he actually stays in one place. I'm going to need to get some more blue tech. More blue tech. <laughs> come on, come on, Manuel. There we go. Manuel is coming slowly. And when I say slowly, I mean very slowly. There we go. Oh, I see. We can lean him back. Nine. Eleven. Now that's getting somewhere. It looks like he's shuffling. Do 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 well, this is going to take a long time, I'm not going to lie. There we go. 
Ooh, uh, <laughs> all sorted. So then afterwards, afterwards, I want to get a shot. Just like this, and slowly pan the camera down. From the, that isn't gonna move basically. I put I put my I had a T and put it down, so it's kind of became an anomaly within the video itself. So now I want to get this one here and just. Hello. <laughs> no. Hello. Oh my god, I sound so bad. All right, all sorted. Welcome back. This is now day four of the Activity Five Keith Project. So far, it has been going quite well, and I have finished all the stop motion I need to. Beforehand, we had four four seconds, and through those four seconds, I made what a twenty second video. But then again, that included the intro and a couple of um, photos, ins, outs. You know, I'm creating a story. But now, I've managed to get about what I think it's like fifteen seconds, one hundred and fifty frames at eight frames per second, basically. So about fifteen seconds of footage, give or take. Anyway, I've kind of taken the cape of Keith or Manuel. And that's what he currently looks like. Maybe I could do that for a sequel where he lost his cape or something. And yeah, I've got everything sorted out for today. I think tomorrow I'm going to go, for, I'm going to throw it in the editing chamber and we'll see what the final product comes out to. Now, the next time we'll be coming back, I will be record because I didn't record myself actually doing the stop motion bit, but I will record myself doing the editing because this is where the bulk of the edits is going to come from. But I'm not going to lie, I am not used to. As I've already said beforehand, I'm used to monologuing and commentating and that, but I am not used to commentating whilst editing. I usually shut up and get on with it whilst I'm editing. So trying to keep people entertained and all of that, completely different. Hang on a minute. There we go. Completely different side of events. Also, the annoying thing is, is I have to record my audio over the top of it once I've got my edits in place and base them around there, and then after that I can do my zoom ins, my zoom outs, and add some music over the top of it. So yeah, there's quite a lot I still need to do, and it won't be a complete recording of me actually editing, because I need to turn recording on and off, so I can actually record the voicing for it. Anyway, this is Callum Myfield, aka Toxic Grave 123, but depends if this goes public or not, and I'll see you again for day 5. There we go. Hello and welcome back. This is day five of the Manuel project, the activity five. Basically, I would have done a second stop motion. It's about 150. It's about 150 frames, give or take. And today, it's just editing it down and finishing off this little story. This video is probably going to come to about a minute long by the time I'm done. About 24 seconds worth of stop motion. Through that, maybe a bit more padding, a bit more videos. But I've tried my best with this. After today, I am going to be moving on to activity six. And I'm assuming Activity 7 is coming Monday. I'll be leaving a link down in the description. I'll be leaving the link in the email, basically, so you can access this video. Because it's probably going to be like what you did and unlisted. Unless I decide to make it public, but I'd rather doubt I'm going to do that. <laughs> anyway, I can't keep this on at full time, this um, video recording bit. Because I am, am going to have to come out of this, basically keep it where it is. And then record some of the audio for the actual stop motion itself. So I can actually edit it down and get some music over the top of it. So yeah, besides that, it's where I can. I'll leave it, um, I'll video myself doing some editing. And yeah, I'll see you at the end of this. Okay. Round one, let's go. Hello, little green tourist. Where am I? I need help. Hey, don't run away. Come here, come here, please, please. Nah, it sounds too desperate. Hello, little green to. <laughs> okay, come on. Hello, little green tourist. I am lost. Can you help? Hey, why are you running? Hey, come back here. I said come back here. <laughs> oh my god, scary robot. Leave me alone. Don't eat me. Um, don't taste very nice. Hey, oh, hang on a minute. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, what is that? Hang on a minute. Are you filming me? What is this? That, my friend, is a camera, and that is an inconsistency. An in what's an inconsistency? And what are you? Don't call me a little green toy. Hang on a minute. The camera's moving. Go after it. After it. Hang on. Come look. Come back here. Come back here. Come on. Tell me why I am here. Not really a lot to. There we go. That's all right. Here. I said, come back here. 
better. Or at the very least, it's a bit more subtle than what we had beforehand. Some areas are too much and some areas are too little, basically. So at this point, I just need to record this here and get the actual camera bit of footage. So this will carry on. The plan here is for him to take notice of the camera and then to take notice of the inconsistency over there with a the T that appeared and vanished. Which originally was my mistake, but then I thought, let's make, let's make the whole plot out of it. So we have the camp, if you can call it a plot. So he notices the camera. You can get the T out of it over here. I was doing start trying to monitor question Bulbasaur, aka the little green tourist I've started calling it. And then the camera, which I'm probably going to have to leave a few more frames here. Because I've probably rushed this bit a bit too much. And then the camera starts moving so they chase after it. At which point I pick him up so there'll be a cut here. And a cut there maybe? He goes after it, although I couldn't really move his arms and keep him in the same position. I would have had it to blue tack it out, because it can only... It's one of those things where it's basically a bunch of wooden cubes and a bit of string running through it, so I could either have that or that. There's no in There's no in between with that character. That's pretty bad character design on my part. And then after that, basically, a yeah, huge jump here. I'd probably cut from there to there. Ugh... <sighs> Hello and welcome back. This is day six of activity five. Not going to lie, this has taken quite a while. I <laughs> I've edited videos in the past, but I'm basically making up the video as I go along and then having to edit and put it together. So yeah, this has taken a long time. I probably spent two days doing the stop motion itself, and this is probably the third day editing. Which kind of <laughs> says quite a lot to be fair, I'm not going to lie. Oh god, if I had more time, I might. If I had more time, then I wouldn't have rushed it as much. I've kind of just made it up as I went along. Anyway, the plan is today, as you can see, is to finish off the editing. Yesterday, we done from this bit all the way to this bit here, which I can play you now. I'm just showing you through it, through this at the moment. <laughs> Although I was a twat, because what I didn't, because what I did yesterday, when recording myself editing, I didn't switch off from the webcam. Meaning all you saw was me reacting to editing, my face, rather than what's going on on the screen. So yeah, I was a twat about that. And yeah, it's taught me quite a valuable lesson. I suck at documenting. <laughs> Basically, if I'm going to do this project or something similar in the future, the project itself is going fine, but I'm going to need to work my documenting skills, my documenting style. Because what I'm doing now is very inconsistent and it's very all over the place. So whether next time I just write down like a journal or a diary of it doing it. Or I am um, to find some other way to record my screen 24-7 whilst this OBS is going on and off. I don't know. Or whether I just record myself in the background with a camera or something else like that. To record the screen that way through external. Anyway, yeah, it's going to be fun. And the rest of the day, I just want to get this little bit here done. That is the plan. I've got that much le more stop motion left to do. I need to voice it over. I need to add the images. Maybe add the videos. Slow it down. Speed it up. You know, make it nice and fancy. Color correction. That kind of idea. And then after that, I need to get... Um, where is it? Oh, yeah. All of these from where I've been documenting my day, basically. Where it's just me talking into a camera and reacting just like this. So, without further ado, let's begin. Oh, yeah. And as usual, this is going to be cut through because I need to actually voice record this bit here. So, you're probably not even going to be able to hear this um, afterwards. So, yeah. Let's begin. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. So, I've got to react to this bit. Of... Hang on a minute. Okay. Is this even... Yeah, you can actually see what I can see now, which is always a good start. Uh... Oh, no. The camera's moving. Okay. So, maybe I can maybe react to them filming... They're basically both, by the looks of this stop motion, they both chase after the camera for this section here, basically. But I don't have a lot of time to work with. To be like, hey, come look, come back, come back. Hey, camera, where are you going? Look at my beautiful face. <laughs> nah, I don't have enough time for that. Now, I've already done where they're talking over the, over the top of each other at this bit. So it'll be easier if I make Manuel talk on this bit. Then I can make talk, then I can overlay him here. Hey, come look, come back. Oh, get a giant hand! Save me, Manuel! <laughs> okay, what else could I do then? Nothing's gonna have to cut here, basically. Or I'll probably trim off the end of that. I'll probably stop the stop motion up there. Trim off this bit here. 
and then just have this slow down basically to however long the last bit is going to go on for. So it'll basically be like it's automatically slowly zooming in. Alright. <laughs> ah, let's try this, shall we? Uh, oh no, the camera's moving. Wait, come look, come back here, come back here. Yeah, and that automatically goes on that bit there. All right. Let's <laughs> see. And what are you? Uh, uh, oh no, the camera's moving. Hang on a minute. Don't come, look, come, look, come back. That's a lot. There's barely any time to speak, I've noticed. That's literally barely a. Yes, yeah, literally about a second I've got a speech. One second. Boom. That's all I've got. It come, look, come. <laughs> it come. I am Manuel. Lola of Spania. <laughs> Is that Spain or Narnia? Bit of both. Don't ask. <laughs> I'm not going to lie when I'm trying to do the voice acting bits. If I'm not careful. This is the first time I've probably tried to do this for. I've always used my own voice. So trying to voice two different characters. If I'm not careful, I just slip into this voice. So I might be doing Barbasaur's voice, which is intended to be really, really annoying and really, really stupid. But if I'm not careful, then I'll start sounding like this. Or I might be doing Manuel's voice, but then I get to a syllable that I really do not like. It just turned into... There we go. See what I mean? Alright. Come on. I feel sorry for the rest of the house after listening to me doing random Spanish voice. That I'm re really bad Spanish accent and really annoying Bulbasaur accent. Hey, come look. Come back here. There we go. That should be that bit there. If I just go, come look. Come look. Come back. Why you leave me? <laughs> How loud is that? Hey, Gamla! Yeah, that's, that's more than loud. We're peaking there. Okay. I might have to re record that. Depends on how that goes. And the giant hand's got. Then a giant hand comes here. It's like. Manuel! I'm being taken up. Oh, yeah, that's Manuel's voice. <laughs> Manuel! I'm being taken away! <laughs> My time has come to move. <laughs> Just frame that. Just frame there. My time has come to move dimension, Manuel. I shall see you in the future. You what? Hey, little clean guy. Where you going? No. Don't touch him. Come back here. No. Man. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you, Manuel. 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 Keith. <laughs> Our original idea was this. To get Manuel's identity mixed with Keith who's written on his leg. And then have Bob's already in a marker pen. But it kind of evolved from that, I'm not going to lie. Hey, come look, come back here. Well, it was nice talking to you, Manuel. It's time for me to go to another dimension. Wait, you what? No, come back here. No, don't leave me. Little glean thing, come back. You took him away from me. How dare you. The one person I could talk to in this wretched, wooden place. I will find you. And I will exact my revenge. So watch out. For Manuel will come back. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. Okay, let's just watch this as a once-over, shall we? Gleetons, I am Manuel. Ruler of Spania. I come from. Wait on a minute. What's going on? Out of my moving. What is that? What is that? Oh no. Oh my god, scary robot. Hello, Leave little me alone. Don't eat me. I am last. Um, Can don't you help me? Nice. Why are you running? Hey, come back here. I said, come back here. And what is that? Oh, that? That's the camera. And what? Is that? Oh, that? That's an inconsistency. And what are you? Uh. Oh no, the camera's moving. Hey, come look, come back here. Well, it was nice talking to you, Manuel. It's time for me to go to another dimension. Wait, you what? No, come back here. No, don't leave me. Little glean thing, come back. You took him away from me. How dare you? The one person I could talk to in this wretched, wooden place. I will find you, and I will exact my revenge. So watch out, for Manuel will come back. Well, it's been fun. I'm not going to lie. It has been a very interesting couple of days. Um, 
with this whole animation with this whole um animation bit project. So yeah, thank you. I'm not gonna lie, it was fun. I had no idea what I was doing. I know what went well, I know what didn't go well. And to be fair, I should have probably next time when I design a character, I'm probably gonna have to design it so I can actually move him a bit more, because he could shuffle when he could move his arms a little bit. But due to the way he was designed, I couldn't get that much else movement out of him than what you just saw on there. Also, my style of documenting was a little bit flawed, and I didn't really get into the groove of it until like day five, day six. So yeah, at least I know what I need to work on when I, when it gets um if I have to do something similar in the future. Anyway, thank you for watching. It's been fun. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of just rambling on a little bit um at the moment, and yeah. I look forward to doing more in the future. I'll see you for the next projects.